Hello and welcome back to the workshop. We're trying a little bit of a different thing here today. So I got a nice solid backdrop today. If you remember from a few weeks back, I posted a video with this guitar here that I was putting up for trade. And we have finally made our first trade. I myself am a little surprised with the choice that I made because I've never been drawn to this particular brand, mainly because the styles don't really fit me. Um, the hardware is not anything that I'm usually seeking after, but I figured for the sake of doing these trades that why the heck not? I'll give it a whirl. So what I got here today is an Alpine White made in Mexico Fender Mustang. Now this, judging by the serial number, was made in 2016. Um, these generally ran for around five, 550 new when they were around. I don't believe they make this one in particular anymore. Um, this one has that tortoiseshell pickguard and P90 pickups, which is, like I said, not the kind of hardware that I normally seek after. Um, but I figured, why the heck not? We'll give it a whirl. The only thing that I have done to this is that when I first got it, I realized that the fret ends, though not razor sharp, were protruding off the edge of the fretboard. So I went ahead and I took those down and this thing surprisingly plays like a dream. I've, Like I said, I've never been drawn to fenders and granted this is a made in Mexico fender, but a fender nonetheless. It's never really been the style that I've found myself comfortable with. So I've never immediately gone to the stores and say, hey, I need that Strat or I need that Telecaster. The Mustang to me is kind of a hybrid between the Telecaster and the Stratocaster, in my opinion. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of flax in the comments for that, but it's got that Telecaster style you know, hardware layout, but with the horns like a Stratocaster and it kind of feels like a smashed version of the two. Without further ado, let's plug this bad boy in. And this is another feature that I have never been fond of in guitars, is having your input jack directly on the front of the guitar. I find it ugly when you're playing. The only way to keep it out of your way is to put it through the strap kind of like this so that it's out of the way but even so you still see this tail and for me SG's are the same way too. I don't mind SG's aside from the fact that they're top heavy but that was one thing that I wish the SG did not have was a front facing input jack. Well without further ado let's plug it into my trusty old micro cube here. I love this little amp for a 10 watt amp. This thing pumps. And we'll go through some of the sounds. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to quickly go through some of the sounds on here. I'm not going to do an extensive playthrough, just enough to show you what the, the pickups sound like. And I'm going to start on a clean setting.
see how that sounds. <laughs> some of the hardware in this bad boy here. I've never been really into the idea of P90s. Uh, I really don't mind the sound of this thing. I, for not being a fan of Fender, I am surprised with how much I actually like this. I've never sought out any Fenders, but it's not bad to play. It sounds all right. It still doesn't have that humbucker sound, which is what I normally seek out, but I could see I can see the draw to it. You want more of that early sound, but being a metalhead myself, the humbuckers get the output that I need for it. And these seem a little weaker than what my humbuckers are. Um, never been a big fan of these bridge systems. They don't sit right for me. But this one looks like it's really well crafted. I mean, it's even got Fender's logos on the inside of the saddle pieces. All in all, I don't mind this guitar. Now, as I previously mentioned before, this one will also be up for trade. So if you're interested and want to get your hands on this, make me an offer. Now, if you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe down below, and we'll see you next time. Bye.